Champaign parents are feeling some relief this week as teachers take another step to avoid a possible strike. Sign it tonight. <laughs> Get it done. A message from a concerned dad to the school board this evening. Several parents shared some relief today as they picked up their kids from school, knowing a teacher strike is no longer looming. That's right. Our Target 3 investigative reporter Renee Cooper walks from car to car talking to parents. She joins us now. Renee, what do the parents think of this agreement? Well, Marley, the biggest relief for parents is that kids will likely still have the teachers they've grown with in these schools for months through the end of the year. Now, the fact that schools are short-staffed is not lost on these parents. They say there's always an effort to bring in substitutes and aides, but there's a natural drop in quality when they have to come in, and the stakes are much higher than for the loss of quality when than when you have to buy off-brand ice cream or have to trade in your new car for a used one. Education is an investment in the rest of their lives. It impacts outcomes down the road. For parents of Southside Elementary School students, waiting in this line is mostly a mundane daily routine. But Wednesday, the day after Champaign teachers ratified a tentative contract with the district, narrowly avoiding a strike, the mundane is something to be thankful for. The unrest brought parents back to the spring of 2020 and the start of the pandemic. It's, it's hard for people to understand what it was like having kids in school and then all of a sudden, uh, hey, you're a homeschool teacher now. Jason Rogers has three girls in school now and another starting next year. He and the rest of the parents who I stopped at car windows to talk to support teachers negotiating for higher pay. I think they deserve every nickel they get. I think they have a good finger on the pulse of what's in their best interest in terms of the length of the day and these sorts of things. And as we move into making these decisions, so um, having them be a, uh, a voice that's not only heard but appreciated. And I don't know the board's necessarily been doing that throughout the course of, of this year in these negotiations. It would be great if we could get a deal done, but I also... Like maybe no deal is better than a bad deal. It's hard for me to say without knowing the particulars. No one outside of the negotiations knows exactly what is laid out in the final agreement. Nearly a quarter of union teachers were not on board Tuesday night. Sources close to the negotiations tell us most who voted no are elementary school teachers. And they might have the most at stake. The initial contract offer from the school board, made public last month, added 50 minutes to the school day for K-5 through students. When you've got larger class sizes and you've got a teacher that's maybe a little bit overwhelmed, doesn't it seem like what's one hour going to do? At this point, nothing is a done deal, but confidence in an uninterrupted end of the school year did grow overnight. From kind of the numbers that I've heard or seen, you know, that it, they're going to uh, sign off on the agreement. Um, it, it seems to be that way, but I think as a community, we should not sit back and and rely on that. Just like many parents rely on schools for after school child care or even meals. Chad Smith, a parent and president of the Garden Hills Neighborhood Association, says conversations are continuing about how to fill those gaps if a strike comes back around. Now, Smith has become part of a collective of parents, teachers, and school district staff with concerns about gaps in programming. He says those conversations are going to continue, strike or not. As for what's in that latest agreement, we're told nothing more will be released at least until after the board votes on Tuesday. Back to you. Thanks, Renee.